Donald Trump joins us on the phone right now. Mr. Trump, good morning to you. Good morning. I love that number. Yeah, I, I had a I feeling. Will not, I will not disappoint them. Believe I had a me. feeling you'd like that introduction. You know, negativity is something that most people say they hate in a political campaign, and yet, you know what? It works. And, and when we look at polling in Michigan and in Florida that does seem to be tightening, do you think it's a direct result of that scathing takedown by Mitt Romney and speeches by Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan and the attacks you're facing from Cruz Rubio and some super PACs out there? Well, I'm the only one that could beat Hillary Clinton, and a lot of polls have shown that, frankly. And, and I'm the one that's going to do the job. I'm the one that's going to bring jobs back to the country. Uh, Mitt Romney's a failed candidate. He ran one of the worst presidential campaigns in the history of our country. And now he wants to be relevant again, and it's disgraceful. But, but it's know, only been a short time that you've faced the full wrath of all of these entities. Do you worry that it will stop your momentum at the most crucial time of this campaign? Well, I, I don't know, Matt. I mean, I, I saw some polls yesterday in Michigan where I'm 19 and 20 points up, and I saw some very, very good polls. Uh, I'm still leading in Florida against a failed senator. You know, Rubio is a failed senator. He doesn't vote. He's got the worst voting record, one of the worst in the history of the United States Senate. He's done a terrible job, and he's got a lot of problems, and to put it mildly, and he hasn't won. I mean, he can't win anywhere. So I, th I agree with Ted Cruz on that. I mean, he says this guy just doesn't win anywhere. So at what point do you go with somebody else? But uh, he's doing poorly in Florida, and frankly, if he ran for office right now in Florida, he couldn't get elected dog catcher. He's done such a poor job. Mr. Trump, I'd like to ask you about something you've been doing rather recently at your rallies, which is having your supporters raise their right hand and say, I pledge to vote for Donald Trump. Now, as you know, a still image of that at your rallies has gone around the Internet, and some people have been quite disturbed by that image. And in fact, Abe Foxman, who's a Holocaust survivor, says it reminds him of the Nazi salute. I wonder how you feel about that comparison and whether it would make you want to perhaps not do it anymore if people do feel that way. Well, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, we're having such a great time. Yesterday, I had 20,000 people in Mississippi. I had uh, tremendous crowds in Michigan. And sometimes we'll do it for fun. And they'll, say, they'll start screaming at me, do the swear and do the swear. And I mean, they're, they're having such a great time. They're massive crowds. I get, you know, by far the biggest crowds. And we're having a good time. Honestly, until this phone call, I didn't know it was a problem. Mm. We were all, you know. And, well, in and light 90, of that, does that make you, what, you reflect on it? Room, Almost everybody in the room raises their hand. We're having a good time. I never knew it was a problem. I think it's also in combination, Mr. Trump, with some of the rhetoric you've used on the campaign trail over the last several months, targeting groups like Muslims and Mexicans, that that evokes images of Nazi Germany and, and the scapegoating of Jews there back in the 1930s and 40s. Well, I think that's a big, big stretch. I mean, honestly, Matt, I've been, uh, we've been having such an amazing, we've been having rallies that are massive. Uh, yesterday in Mississippi, uh, two days ago in Orlando, we had 25,000 people fill up a stadium. It was incredible. And, you know, we're having these incredible rallies. And uh, considering the subject matter is not so good because our country is in trouble, big trouble, uh, we are having a great time. And, you know, part of this is that. And, and uh, you know, that, that it, this would be brought up this morning. I'm very surprised to hear it. Does it if there's anything, if it's offensive or if there's anything wrong with it, I wouldn't do it. But when I say raise your hand, everybody raises their hand. They're screaming to me to do it. We want to do it. And it's really, you know, we're all having a lot of fun. I never but thought anything would Let's just be clear, though. Too. So because you now know that it is offensive to some people, will you say, okay, let's, let's not do this in the future? Well, I'll certainly look into it. I mean, I'd like to find out that that's true, but I would certainly look in because I don't want to offend anybody. But I can tell you that it's been... Uh, it's been amazingly received, well received, but I will certainly look into that, Matt. All right. I think that's a fair answer. Mr. Trump, thanks so much for your time this morning. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.